Deputy Speaker, I, I want to speak on behalf of the 562 people in Ryan who signed my petition to the government to restore the 20 Medicare-funded psychology sessions. And I speak on behalf of the many thousands more affected by the cruel de decision of the government to cut sessions to 10 at the end of last year. People who have been relying on regular specialist appointments will no longer be able to afford it. This is going to have devastating impacts on some of the most vulnerable people in our community, people who are already under increased stress due to the cost of living and housing crises. Now's the time to be expanding support, not cutting it. We know that there's huge demand for our existing mental health services. Believe it or not, simply cutting the number of subsidised sessions does not actually reduce this demand. The government could be investing in preventative mental health care and working towards free, unlimited health sessions for all. Instead, the government's chosen to cruelly cut these sessions to save a quick buck, meanwhile keeping their $254 billion tax cuts to, that overwhelmingly benefit the already wealthy and $12 billion annually to subsidise the fossil fuel industry.